beginning when I was covering Starlink in the better than nothing beta days and I said, no data caps, no data caps. This was so exciting. Well, turns out they're gonna now start imposing daytime data caps in the US and Canada. So if you're someone who exceeds more than one terabyte monthly of priority access data usage, you could start to see your internet speeds being throttled starting in December. Not the Christmas present you wanted. <laughs> so Starlink recently sent out an email about a fair use policy and I wanted to give you the details. Starlink writes to ensure our customer base is not negatively impacted by a small number of users consuming unusually high amounts of data. The Starlink team is implementing a fair use policy and Starlink says this fair use policy starts in December. So I got this email from my friend, Scott Walter. You've seen him in a lot of my videos and he actively uses Starlink. And so based on this email, it says that his service will not be impacted if he continues the same type of usage that he has for the past six months. They write, based on your data usage over the last six months, this policy will have no impact on your service if your usage patterns stay the same. So under the fair use policy, all residential customers will receive unlimited data and will start each month with priority access, which means their data usage will be prioritized during times of network congestion. So this is targeting those customers who exceed one terabyte of data use on a monthly basis. And this is currently less than 10% of users, but if you are one of those users, what that means is that you will automatically be switch to basic access for the remainder of the billing cycle, which means your data usage will be deprioritized during times of network congestion, resulting in, of course, slower speeds. Now keep in mind data use between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. will not count toward your priority access. And if you're worried about this, you can monitor your data usage on your Starlink account page. Of course, they also have more about this fair use policy also on their website. And you can buy more priority access data at the cost of 25 cents per gigabyte. And any data used between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. doesn't count toward your priority access. So for example, if you have a device backup, try to run that while everyone else is asleep. And Starlink explains this change by saying that the internet is a finite resource. They say the network will grow as they launch more satellites and they have to manage the network to balance Starlink supply with user demand. But these new data caps might make Starlink feel a little more like Comcast, which currently has a 1.2 terabyte data cap for many customers. So in case you're curious what one terabyte of data usage could look like, AT&T has a neat calculator that they put together. According to this calculator, you could do the following activities and still use less than one terabyte of data in a month. So that would be send and receive 40,000 emails, stream 8,500 hours of music, surf the internet for 2,000 hours, game for 16,500 hours, stream high def videos for 350 hours, and post to social media for 5,600 hours. So that just puts it into perspective. So for most of you, this probably won't be a problem for you, but if you are a 4K video streamer, then this might affect you. I had a few of you suggest me making this quick update just to keep you in the loop about all things Starlink. And I wanna know if you have received this email. So I know in the beginning, it was so exciting that we could say no data caps with Starlink, which was really unique compared to other ISPs. Unfortunately, with more people coming online and using Starlink, obviously they need to make changes. So drop a comment if you think that this is going to affect your usage. Also, if you are a Starlink user, just let me know how it's going. I hear so many amazing stories of how Starlink is impacting people in a great way and making their lives easier, making staying connected easier. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do, please make sure to like it, subscribe to Ellie in Space, and I'll see you in the next video.